Joined here once again by Cam Cranston. And Cam, we appreciate you swinging by. Thanks for having me again, Brian. Hey, you know, like we were just talking, man, it's sure been a long, long year for you guys. But, you know, like you were saying, some of the pluses there has been you guys have had a lot of chances to get to know each other, work on chemistry, and, you know, get your training put mm-hmm. together. Yeah, it's been really good. I feel like this team has made the most of what we could have out of this COVID year. And thanks to our coaches and Metzger, you know, at keeping us in the weight room was probably one of the biggest things for us. A lot of the guys have gotten so much stronger over this last year. I know I have, and just continue to be in there for three or four days a week has been has been major. And staying in the gym as much as we could have it was tough because we didn't get in there until about January. But ever since then, we've been we've been on it. So you guys in there, you know, in the gym right by my office there, getting the work in. Yep. And how nice has been just to be able to at least you know play with some of the new guys because you know obviously you've had no game environment to play with them. But how nice has it been to at least you know just do some scrimmages and some things with them? It's been really different because usually you, you know you get to you get to know the players on the court, you know, in practices more so, and in games you learn a lot about people. But it's be- definitely been different and just trying to learn what these guys can do and in such a short amount of time has been tough. But it's been a great experience just playing open gym a lot and having small groups working out with new people every day. It's been it's been what you would expect, but it's been really good. You were talking about, you know, working on getting your lifts going and some other things. What was kind of the main focus you took of, you know, when everything kind of got shut down of things you wanted to work on, you know, personally for your game to get ready for next year? One thing that I really emphasized was, is what can I do while everybody else is kind of in the same situation? How am I going to differentiate from everybody else? And just, just staying in the weight room was probably the biggest thing because a lot, not a lot of people have access to that. And we were lucky enough to just go in there in small groups and, boom boom get our lifts done with and so I'd say that just getting stronger bigger faster was probably the biggest thing I tried to focus on whether or not we could be in the gym that was the one thing that we could control you know how tough was it too going back you know it seems like forever now but you know back to last March you know everything shut down we just get you know done with the GNAC tournament everything's done you guys can't do anything with spring you're going through the summer you know kind of what was that process like for you just you know trying to stay active you know get into you know just find courts to play on to get ready it was tough just kind of got down for a little while you know because really the only place you could go is maybe like an elementary school or outside court and depending on that maybe you couldn't even get into that so it was tough especially for how competitive I was I'm sure a lot of the, the guys on the team would agree because we have a pretty competitive team that it was pretty tough and just trying to stay in the game it was kind of stagnant at times and but luckily we got through and pushed as hard as we could how much do you think it helped too you know being thankful you probably weren't you know a new player getting into a new system i'm sure it helped you a lot knowing you already were here Mm -hmm. you were used to woo you were used to you know coach piper's system i mean how nice is that to have that comfortability rather than being one of the new guys having to transfer in yeah that i can't even imagine i props to those guys for what they've done what they have had to overcome uh overcome and i'm blessed to have been here for so long and relationship with coach pfeiffer was has been great and he's really helped this transition and i just had to realize that I'm, I'm the leader of this team now and making it easier for those guys and the new adjustments was one of my focuses for the guys coming in seems weird too to talk about you know we're in the summer usually we're, we're coming off the season you know you're working on things yeah. but it's kind of been summer for you know a year for you guys so yeah what are kind of your emphasis is you're looking on to try to you know work on because it's kind of you know it's, it's been off season for a long time now just kind of this whole this whole year has been one big off season and you can take it for what it's worth but I've looked at it as a way as I get I get a free year to just grow and expand my game and just every day after weights getting up shots playing as much as we can and uh, just trying to take advantage of the just the open time without games that we can to focus on myself personally. You now looking ahead to the fall, I'm sure we're all ready for that winter yep. term coming around. How excited are you for when we get to that first game, wherever it's at, just to play again? Foaming, foaming at the mouth. Seems like I'm a rabid dog. I'm ready. It's been so long since I played a game over over a year. It's crazy. I, I never thought that I'd go that long without playing a basketball game. So definitely looking forward to it, anticipating it for sure. All right, Cam. Well, once again, always great to see you. Appreciate you swinging by and catching up with you, and we'll talk to you here soon. Thank you, Brian.